I'm not in the mood for games. What's wrong? I'm ruined. The house didn't pass inspection. Oh, Eddie, what did you do this time? It's not my fault. Blame that backstabbing building inspector. <laughs> What's the world coming to when a city official won't take a bribe from an honest businessman? Honey, I warned you about cutting corners. I'm telling you, the guy was nitpicking. So what's a few loose wires? How about walls that don't meet? What am I supposed to do? Run and check the blueprints every five minutes? No, you just have to fix everything. <sighs> That'll take 20000 to make it pass. You haven't got that kind of money anymore. Oh, Eddie, you didn't, and I was saving that money for the kids' education. Can't you ever think about anybody except yourself? <laughs> I had it all worked out. I was going to make a bundle on this deal and show up at the school reunion in a brand new Corvette. Well, forgive me if I don't feel sorry for you. Sure. Kick me when I'm down. <laughs> Fourteen years in the lousy construction business. All I've got to show for it are calloused hands and a broken heart. Oh, Eddie. What's wrong with me? I drove Haskell Construction into the ground. Just like my helicopter business. And the cat hotel. <laughs> I'm nothing but a failure. Oh, honey, don't say that. We'll get through this somehow. Everything's gonna be okay. Sure. That's what you said when they got a new Darren on Bewitched. <laughs> Thank you for going shopping with me, and to the hairdressers, and to visit my cousin Eunice in the hospital. Oh, I thought she looked much better today. Me too. <laughs> well, I uh, guess I shouldn't keep you. Oh, I don't have anywhere to go. Everyone else I know has a productive career, a reason to be. Oh, Eddie, snap out of it. You'll be back on your feet again. No, I won't. It's over. I guess this will lessen the heroic image you've always had of me. No, Eddie. My opinion of you will never change. Thank you. So, uh, care to finish that game of Candyland we started yesterday? Don't you think Gert's wondering where you are? No, she's busy selling oranges out on the highway. Oh, Eddie, as much as I enjoy your company, shouldn't you be out there doing something about your future? I know you're down, but all men go through setbacks. I've had a life of them. I can't seem to do anything right. Eddie, pull yourself together. You can't just throw in the towel. Oh, that reminds me. You need some fresh ones up in your bathroom. Eddie, I don't do it. Think about what I said. In the meantime, go down and pick up Freddie and Kip at the pizza parlor. Okay. And when I get back, I can help you select a dress for your date Friday night. Eddie, go. Um, have the green silk on when I get back. That man. I got two sweaters, ten tapes, and a trip to what good afternoon, sir. I was just discussing those mysterious charges on your credit card. Just say goodbye to the pen bets. Excuse me. <laughs> sir, could you find it in your heart to give me and Kip, my partner in puberty, any more golden moments with those mildly attractive debutantes? Sure. Are you not well, sir? Mm, don't worry about me. At least one of the Haskells can still get some joy out of life. Hey, Mac. We don't allow your kind in here. What? You're not smiling. <laughs> hey, I bet I know what'll make your teeth want to see some daylight. Hey, hey, bring a free brewski for my buddy here. Now, any requests? Yeah, buzz off. Hey, hey. Everybody, you know what we got here? A mopey dopey. <laughs> There's only one cure for that. It's number four on your placemat, okay, everybody? Yeah. <laughs>
in the car. you've got to spend money to make money. I'll bet he's going to hit us up for a loan. Yeah, listen, everybody. Eddie may be a jerk, but he's our jerk. We've got to help him out. We don't. Nobody else is going to be stupid enough to. Oh, Dad. Can I have some quarters to play video games? Yeah, sure. Gee, I'm pretty broken up about Mr. Haskell, too. You owe me five bucks. They all showed. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, Eddie. Hey, Big oh, hi. You're probably all sweating your shorts off, wondering why I asked you here. I would lean more towards curious, Eddie. Well, I'm finished being every chump's whipping boy. I'm calling it quits. Haskell Construction is no more. Over, finished, kaput. Pizzas for everybody! Oh, honey, <laughs> under the circumstances, I don't think we can afford to buy everyone dinner. Sure, I can buy everyone dinner. Why not? <laughs> I own this place! <laughs> you bought Pizza Pete? I bought Papa Eddie's Pizza Palace. <laughs> oh. Listen, these sappy family places really rake it in. <laughs> well, Eddie, uh, I want to be the first to congratulate you on your new business. <laughs> but, uh... Eddie. What makes you think you know anything about running a restaurant? What's to know? It's a people business, and I'm a people person. You like me, I like people. <laughs> hey, stupid, get your grubby shoes off my furniture. <laughs> Welcome to Papa Eddie's Pizza Palace. Where every happy guy and gal is. <laughs> yeah, everything okay? Uh, 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 excuse me, I... I dropped my fork. No problem. <laughs> there we go. And might I say that shawl certainly does complement your fine bridge work. <laughs> Hey, Mom, this place is really hopping. Oh, everything is going wonderfully, and your father didn't even have to pay off the health inspector. I'm so proud of what he's doing. Eat dirt, Elmo. These tips are mine. I don't split my tips. Who said anything about split? Fine, I quit. He ended up taking my brother with me. Come on, Phil, we're out of here. <laughs> nice work, Eddie. Now, who are we going to get to replace them? Hey, it's a family restaurant, right? Son, clear off those tables. Sir, menial labor goes against everything I hold sacred. Then pray to this. I'd like a glass of water, please. <laughs> we 
with the house's compliments. And where's my pizza? I've been waiting a half hour. Lady, you need another pizza like... <laughs> Coming right up, valued customer. <laughs> Freddy, check on this fine lady's pizza. Keep the old windbag busy till we can stuff some food in her face. Well, what am I gonna do? Ah, sing one of those stupid old songs. That's what these jello heads come here for. I don't want to sing. This is not a democracy. Now, sing that song you sing at Christmas. But it isn't Christmas. When you reach that old bat's age, every day you wake up is Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Louder! Supplier, the reluctant to supply. What are we out of now? Mushrooms. Check the park. I saw some growing there. They're toadstools, sir. They're poisonous. Then go easy on them. <laughs> Papa Eddie's Pizza Palace. Oh, you've been waiting two hours for your pizza. Tough, sister. I got problems of my own. <laughs> what I ordered. Look, lady, here's some money. Go across the street and buy yourself a bucket of chicken. And when you've finished eating, put the bucket over your head. <laughs> and a partridge in a pear tree. Everybody's gonna laugh. I'm turning off the projector. I wasn't laughing, Uncle Beaver. I was just wondering why Grandma kept taking pictures of you while you were being eaten by a dog. Yeah, Mom. <laughs> well, what do we look at next? Tell him you want to see the Springfield game again. <clears throat> Uncle Wally says I want to see the Springfield game again. <laughs> Mrs. Cleaver. Is that a new outfit you're wearing? Oh, no, it I was wondering if your eldest son had a free moment for a distraught child. Come on in, Freddy. <laughs> so this is it. I finally get to have a man-to-man -man talk in the legendary Cleaver den. <laughs> Only these hollowed walls could talk. Uh, Freddie, what's on your mind? It's not me, sir. I fear the Pop Eddie's Pizza Palace is going down faster than my father's helicopter service. <laughs> Albeit with fewer lawsuits. I'm really sorry to hear that. Don't put your hanky away yet. Unfortunately, in order to finance this venture, my father took a second mortgage on our house, and a substantial balloon payment is now due. Boy, sometimes your dad really ticks me off. Well, he's got a problem. Why doesn't he come and see me? It's his pride, sir. He can never admit failure to anyone, especially you. You're his best friend. He tells that to Mr. Rutherford, too, but he doesn't mean it. Freddie, I know things look bad, but your dad has been in a lot of tight spots before. In school, business, the Denver Zoo. Well, he always manages to land on his feet. I'm sure he'll find his way out of this one, too. Not even if Lewis and Clark led the expedition. I tell you what, I'll come by and I'll talk with him. I'd appreciate it if you could make it before Thursday, sir. There's talk of a fire. How are we doing, Kurt? If we don't bring in another 9,500 before 4 o'clock tomorrow, we'll be sleeping in my car. No, we won't. I traded it for 200 pounds of mozzarella. Oh, Daddy, what are we gonna do? Don't worry, honey. I'm the man of the house. It's my job to worry about money. It's your job to put on a sandwich board and get down to the mall before the theater lets out. <laughs> okay. Well, if it isn't the Cleaver clan and my good friend Clarence, welcome to Papa Eddie's Pizza Palace, where every happy guy and gal is. <laughs> Gee, I wish you folks would have phoned. 
All my tables are reserved. Well, I'm sure you can squeeze us in, Eddie. Okay, for you, I'll find a spot. Uh, but if the governor and his party arrive early, uh, I'm afraid you'll have to move. <laughs> me, Mrs. Cleaver. Thank you, Eddie. Freddy, customers! Excuse me, there's a photographer waiting in the kitchen for me. I'm cover boy on the next issue of Pizza News. <laughs> Gee, it's worse than I thought. Well, maybe things will pick up after the governor gets here. <laughs> You don't have to sing for us. Bless you. Are you ready to order? What do you suggest? Well, because of our long-standing relationship, the hot dogs stand down the street. Uh, just bring us a couple of pizzas and hold the mushrooms. You're fired! Who do you think you are telling me how to run my business? I know when I got a rat problem. I don't need you to tell me. <laughs> Works here 11 years, and suddenly he's an expert. Eddie, we have to talk. Uh, no, no, we have to sing. A buffalo gals, won't you come out tonight? Eddie, we come didn't come here tonight. to sing. We came here because we care. Some of us more than others. Hey, what are you talking about? My business is perfect. Come on, you're losing your shirt here, and your house is next. You gotta bail out. Hey, that's easy for you to say. You sit there in your suits and your cushy jobs while I break my back trying to provide a better life for myself. And if there's anything left over for my family. <laughs> Eddie, the reason it never works for you is because you don't know how to treat people. What do you know, Bucky Beaver? <laughs> We're only trying to help you, Eddie. You can't do it on your own, so let us give you a hand. Yeah, well, I don't need your charity. And unless you know something about rodent control, the door is that away. <laughs> Anyone for ribs? <laughs> You know, Eddie, this place is going under for the same reason that all your other businesses failed. Your stupid, self-centered, pig-headed greediness. Hey, Eddie, you validate? <laughs> Eddie Haskell, I'm very disappointed in you. Can those pizzas, son. Not to worry. Seems the gas has been turned off anyway. <laughs> well, then? That's all she wrote. Go ahead, you can catch the bus with the rest of the Judases. I'm not going anywhere. Why would you want to stay here with such a loser? I had such dreams for this place. For all of us. Bigger house, better car. I was going to be somebody. You are somebody. You're my father. Yeah, but your old man hasn't got two nickels to rub together. It doesn't matter if you're a pauper or if you have as much money as all of Johnny Carson's wives put together. <laughs> I still love you. No more excuses, Freddy. Get in that kitchen and don't come out till every last rat has a tombstone. <laughs> what do you want? All right, Eddie, this is it. Now, look, I don't know why I'm doing this, except that we go back too far to let your stupid pride destroy you, your family, and our friendship. Now, first thing in the morning, we're going to go down to the bank, we're going to refinance your loan so you can get back in the construction business where you belong. Okay. Really? You go along with that? Absolutely. Uh, I know it's not going to be easy to get back on my feet. I'm going to have to work hard and play by the rules. But I'll give it my best shot. I think you're really going to make it. Well, with friends like you behind me, how can I miss?
<laughs> what a pushover. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> Don't you ever get tired of laughing at me when I was a little kid? Is that what we're laughing at, Dad? <laughs> yeah, Dad. This was much more recent. Yeah, come on, Dad. Take a look. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight at 9 Eastern, swim with the whales off the Falkland Islands. Visit pagan tribes in Pakistan. Be adventurous with National Geographic Explorer. Now stay tuned as John Wayne and Kirk Douglas go for the gold in the war wagon. Next on the Superstation. <laughs>